Hey guys, I want to show y'all something really goofy, but cool. Look below the video. We'll put a link to that. And there's an app that'll save you a bunch of money, but it's, <laughs> I'm no sellout. But now since AliExpress handles ba pretty much all the business of this brand or this company, it's worth it. You can get Renegy solar panels, 50 watt panels for 20 something dollars. No joke. Quick. From Renegy. This is from Timu. It ain't the Timu it was when it first came out. They're different now. This is going to blow your mind. Kira got this for me. So, still got that burn on my hand. I'm out here with my Blue Eddy with its big Booster Pack 48 volt. We're going to have a video on that real quick. And look at that baby. Oh, it recognized that the way I did it. And I saved a thousand dollars. I'm going to show you that video. Come up, better subscribe, hit the notification bell. You're going to get to see this video soon. This is a weird little drill sharpener. <laughs> and this is a very good little brushless grinder. I'll put a link to that thing. This is, I, you ain't going to believe this. I got this freaking thing on Bang Good. Bang Good is like really good they are they are operated by the people who kind of control ebay so they they're good to deal with so i'll send you a link to that this is a wicked little grinder now and and it's multi-use battery awesome you can either charge it solar solar panel charges with a solar panel it's got a plug inside you'll uh, you'll love it you'll see what i mean all right This is based on metrics, 12, 10, 8, 6, 5, 4. But it, it has the proper angle. Um, I think it's 135 degree. And it might be 128, I don't know. But it works perfect. I think most of my bits are 135s. So it works perfect. So while I'm sitting here, I'm trying to make a cabinet piece because I have the cover. This is a Dabson, the battery brand, Dabson. And the guy that got it blew it the hell up. 50 bucks. I bought it. I think I talked about it in a previous video. So I've got this. That's the cover that goes on it for the battery. And then what I'm doing is I'm using this down here. That looks bad, don't it? That pipe burnt the hell out of me. So I'm using this to make a little case, um, you know, out of paneling. It's, it's uh, um, God, uh, the compressed stuff. I don't know what the hell you call it. Um, MDF. And it's, it's fire resistant, but you ain't got to worry about it. So I'm making that so it can sit on the top of this and double the life of that. And I'm going through bits. Well, I need a, I need a certain size bit. So I'm, I'm not, my, my truck is not here. Um, there's a young lady in a dress off gone in my truck. So I don't have my toolbox. It has all my new good bits. So this is my, this is my junk bits. These are the ones that like, they don't drill anymore. You can see the grinding here where the, it, it, I've just, I'm warm. And so I'm trying to find a 5 16 bit. And there's a 5 16 bit. Look how wore out that sucker is. That has spun and spun and spun. And so I'm looking for one and I figure, well, that fits in that one good. Fits in the number eight. Well, that's 5 16. Hey, that one there would be 3 eighths basically. And this one here would be a half inch. Oh, this will work. She paid like $4 for a, a pet. Look below the video, the link to these stupid things. And they just clamp on your guard. See this? Look. They just clamp on the guard right here. So let me grab my other one right quick. I'll show you. This is uh, my DeWalt. Hold on. All right. So this is the DeWalt. And it's just literally a clamshell. I know if you look here, look, it doesn't touch. Okay. This is freaking stupid cool. But if you're in a pinch, this is like, you know, I got the little welder I got. Look at the previous videos, like three videos back. It's a little handheld welder, like the size of that drill. I'm using the hell out of that. It has not quit. Everybody says, well, I blew mine up. I don't know how the hell you done it. Too big a stick? Letting it stick? Yeah, you probably blow it up. I'm running the little tiny 16s on them, and man, it's welding like crazy. And I took somebody's advice. I knew better. 6013s. 
I got a bag coming. Um, so I don't know why I had the other ones because I'm, I do a lot of red iron and, um, but this just, this will just go on here like that and it clamps on, you see that right there. And this clamps on the top like so, and it kind of fits socket fits down in there like that. And you just work it until you get it down in there. And then you have a screw here and screw here and the nut goes in the bottom and you end up with this, you see, pretty stupid, simple, right? Well, I turn this thing down. I lock the power on. It's not perfect. It's not drill master or whatever the hell they are, drill doctor. But if you're out there doing something and you're like, oh, hell. I... So let me show you. Okay. Here's the hole right here. I just, I'd sharpened a half inch or no way, a, a 7 16 bit. Perfect. This was what I started. This, you see that? I just barely touched it. Boom. This is that bit I just sharpened. So let's, uh, let's give it a little try. I'll pop it off in here and we'll see what it does. Okay. Make sure I'm going to drill there. All right. Now there's a little hole. Let's see now that just, I didn't really put much effort into that. I mean, I could have fine tuned it, controlled my hand better in reverse. Sorry. Jeez, man. Look at that. Freaking look at that. I pushed down the same pressure. In fact, I probably pushed even harder on that. This thing just got sucked down in the wood. And that's all I did. That's all I freaking did. This little, oh, wait, wonder. I wonder. Now you get the yes, you see it first. I'm going to put it on low speed, but you guys see it first. Hold on. Let's try it. Okay, Timu. So the question you were going to have, does it help to do it that way? I'm going to answer with no, but you saw what it did on the other way. So let's try it again. I think you got to do it with hand. Yep, you got to do it with your hand. You cannot leave this thing in your drill. Hold on. You might change my right hand out. Nope. Yep, you can't do it that way. You got to do it with your hand. So let's do it with the hand. Hold on. Put that on there where you can see it there, I think. How about that? Right there. Hope that sucker don't fall over. Let's make that drill bit right, guys. Ooh, that is sharp. That's good. Let's try it again. I hope y'all got to see that. I, don't, I wasn't watching the screen here. Let's do it down here. Oh, hell yeah. You see that? Yeah, you got to do it by hand. So the little idea that you can lay it like there. Nope, nope, nope. Wrong answer. Well, for a couple of bucks. Do that in my box in the truck. Holy cow. And I guarantee you, it won't mean need it much. But man, when you need it. When you need it, 5 sixteenths bit, and just, boom, it wouldn't drill nothing. That was the one, and that was the bigger bit that I sharpened. This one right here. Sharpen that sucker right there. 
Is it perfect? Will it be perfect? Hell no. But for about three or four dollars, and they send you two of these. There's two in the pack. There's two of these in the pack. It's a pair and some weird ass name. I don't know who they are. Daily something. But y'all go to the link below. Timu. It's freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. Stay tuned. 48 volt battery direct tapped into a brand new Blue Eddy. And the guy that owns it has having me do all this, so don't freak out. He's got a brand new DC system, so he can run his refrigerator off of the power from the 48. Brilliant. And he has the buck charger, so he can get his truck to hit that sucker with maximum juice when he's driving. Smart. All right, guys, go check out that Timu staff. It's, it's awesome. And I'll put the link to those energy panels. You're going to freak out. You guys be good.